so I just thought this was a good opportunity to show an example of all the different ways that mushrooms get their spores out. So this one here has the sponge layer, little tiny pores, um, and so the spores are in there and they're dropped out of those pores. And then we have the more traditional, the gills. So those are the gills. What's cool about this is inside those gills, are what's called basidiospores and they project the spores out. They push the spores far enough to um, get out in between these gills but not too far to hit a gill across from it. So got to be pretty accurate with that. So that's the gills. And then we have these kind of gills which are more like false gills, more like ridges. Same idea as the gills, that's how the spores come out. And then we have this, the tooth fungi with the spines. So all these spines are also spore bearing surfaces. So essentially the spores just fall off um, of those spines. So pretty cool to see all the examples. We have the spines, we have the sponge layer and the tubes, the actual gills and then false gills.